Hi folks, today I'm demonstrating the new VSG clip example. Um, over the last week I've been working on positional state support in the Vulcan Singeroff. And positional state is used for um, clipping of um, scenes, uh, lighting, and with uh, projective texturing such as um, shadows and projecting uh, images onto the, onto the terrain. Um, today is focused on, on clipping. And the idea of clipping is that we can um, use clipping planes, or in this case, I'm going to be clipping the scene with a sphere. So as I move around the scene, I'm inserting a sphere. And in the vertex shader, I'm computing the distance from each vertex on the mesh to the uh, center of the sphere. That gives me a distance, a radius away, and that then I can work out the distance between the actual boundary of the sphere and the uh, vertex and vertices which are inside the actual um, sphere will have a negative distance and outside it will be a positive distance. Um, this scene in front of you is not a single mesh um, but is actually a page database composed of tens, tens of thousands of uh, separate um, tiles, each tile having um, several hundred um, triangles in it. Now, the way that the actual uh, computation is done is that we, um, on the actual CPU, I compute the intersection between the uh, mouse position and the mesh to give me a position in the model coordinates. And then every new frame, we multiply that model coordinate um, center by the model view matrix to put the uh, center of the sphere into I coordinates. Then on the actual vertex shader, we then compute the distance, um, the, the position of each vertex in I coordinates by, model, by multiplying it by the model view matrix. And then we do the distance from the center of the sphere all in I coordinates. Now, the advantage of doing that is that even though this terrain is actually composed of uh, many thousand of um, tiles, each with their own different model view tra transform of them, they're all transformed into the same space and clipping's done in the same coordinate frame um, so that we don't actually ever see any of the boundaries. Um, if we were to do it in object coordinates, what we'd see is actually lots of separate spheres being eaten away into the terrain. Um, but for this particular task, that's quite inappropriate. The appropriate thing to do is actually do it in eye coordinates. Another important thing about doing it in eye coordinates is that when you actually um, compute the model view matrix in the scene graph, uh, you're combining the model matrix and the view matrix. And the um, values of the objects themselves are kept in local coordinate frame. And when you model uh, the model matrix itself, um, may actually have, in the case of a, a page database like this, the coordinates can actually be easily, um, you know, millions of meters um, from the uh, center of the earth and uh, you could potentially have very large position issues. But each tile has their own coordinate frame and the actual transform has that large value in it uh, to offset it from the, the center of the earth to the actual tile position. Um, each of those tiles has its own separate transform. And if you want to do the clipping on all the tiles in the same coordinate transform, then doing an eye space means you're in the same place but also the, um, the offsets of the model matrix and for each of the tiles and the view matrix kind of cancel each other out. So as you get closer, the actual position issues um, of having those large trans potential large transforms are actually kind of cancel each other out. And because all the maths is done on doubles on the CPU and then passed to the GPU and, and uh, floats, you kind of retain that position as long as possible. And because we're actually computing the actual uh, clip space in I coordinates, again, we actually avoid those precision issues. So you can see here, we're actually zooming in very close to the terrain and the um, intersection is really stable. And you can also see paging happening live. Um, so we're not actually recomputing anything um, to do the actual intersections um, for each tile. Uh, each tile has been treated exactly the same way Everything's been done in my coordinates, and we're only passing one single vertex um, and a, a radius to define the actual clip sphere. Uh, 
uh, the system allows me to actually create um, clipping that is very small, like when we were zoomed in very um, locally, or even expand it out to encompass the whole sphere, or just a sphere segment. Um, we could do this um, with different types of clip geometries. In this case, in the vertex shader, I've basically taken a VEC4 and treated it as a sphere. Um, you could treat it as a plane if you wish so, um, or a box. Um, you can actually, you know, within the vertex shader, you can set up your own uh, clipping controls. Thanks for watching.